Good evening, y'all. It's Kate at Kate's Garden Chicken Cat Rambles. And I'm just coming to water. Just turned the water on. This is not ours. This is a rental. Because Paul wrecked a truck. Yeah. Just. Yeah. Whatever. But, uh. So, here's Mama Baby. Okay. Oh, two of them got out, so I gotta go fetch babies. All right. All right, mom and babies are fine. They had squeezed through a little gap there in the green that allows them to get to that side. There's a board blocking it, but when I went to catch them, they managed to find their way back through. Barely, so they can't, another week and there's no way they'll be able to get through the green make it taller over there it'll just make it harder for me to get in and out of that spot hey laddie i originally was going to make this video because laddie i looked out the window and laddie and flower were over here in the garden a part of the garden i haven't done anything with yeah were you guys weeding I'm like we're trying to help mom you were really okay so some water flowing in here into the green stalk. The hose has got a leak in it. Kind of missed a little bit outside, but oops, sorry. I'll put this back on the birds while I'm bumbling over here, I guess. So, anyhow, I love petunias. I love the smell of petunias. I hate having to deadhead petunias. petunias. I know there's a lot of people who don't, but if you don't, you're gonna get a shorter blooming and they're gonna get uh, leggy. If you know what that means with flower. I love, my, I love my marigolds and something is eating my marigolds. I don't know what it is. Usually nothing likes to eat marigolds, but. And I like the green stalk, but sometimes I think it doesn't always evenly get the roots of every side. So I kind of put it there in the crack so that each little pot, I mean, I know the idea is that it's going to soak all the soil and they're going to absorb it from the very bottom, but I'm sorry, some of these look way too dry. We haven't, uh, it's the second day, no rain, so that's good. We might get a little bit tomorrow, but um, I don't know, we'll see. Tomatoes are still hanging in there. This bag of onions over here, we shall see. Can't, that's still hard to keep the ferals out of there. But, um, so apparently Laddie and Flower came through the little gate area here and I've been out here wandering around in Mom's uh, thistle-filled garden. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't put any green beans in because if they were in, they might be up enough for and they my chickens would have eaten the tops of them. So we'll see if I even mess with it. Um, we're gonna have a really hot week. I woke up this morning, I had a little bit of a headache. Well, I stayed up most of the night because I got into that, a series that I like, you know, sci-fi, and I like some Western things, but it was called Outer Range. And it's been around for a couple years, I just had never watched it. And so I got in, watched Marathon, the uh, first uh, eight, and then, and you'd have to marathon on the rest of them too. So I'll stay up all night watching that. Because once I get started on my marathon trip, I can't, I can't stop. So I think that this one here is the Sugar Rush Little Cherry Tomatoes. So that one is the early girl. And I don't remember what this one is. I don't know where I put this little thing. There might be two early girls, or this might be a Rutgers. I don't, I don't remember. So I do have a couple little green tomatoes right there. And a little bitty tiny wee cucumber over there. And I don't know, I've still got green beans I can put in. I may try to wait and do them as a fall crop because the way our falls are, I could probably put them in and get and these will be up within 60 days so they I can do I think I'm gonna do fall crop I think 
with the heat and the stress that I've been going through and stuff that's going on, I don't think I'm going to put anything else in for the summer. Yeah. I might go ahead and put pumpkin, but I don't know. We'll see. I may just wait and for it to cool off and do more of a, a, a fall garden up here. So, yesterday, Miss Daisy with her, you know, she's the one with the babies and her twin, is flower, they were uh, facing each other through the fence with their hackles up and, you know, have an attitude as if they were going to fight. And it was, it was cute because it was like a mirror image. It was like they were mirroring each other. Anyway, sorry about the noise. So one thing I do like about the weed mat, which I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but if I have, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, they, uh, a lot of times if you've got your holes big enough, you can actually put the force of the water beside, let me show you. Let me show you. Beside it on the mat so you're not breaking up your soil and it'll just run off the mat into your pot. So that's one good thing about the weed mat that I like. I'll show you right there. So I don't have to actually, you know, beat down the plant or worry about, you know, messing up their soil because the hose is, you know, more powerful than like if I had the sprinkler on. But anyhow, um, I'm doing all right. I mean, things aren't great. I don't think they'll ever be great around here again. I don't know. But, um, I've, I've, uh, Got some ducks in a row, as in, uh, well, I can't say because it's not something that's um, legally that I really need to be uh, sharing. But anyway, so we'll see how things go. Because I don't want to leave my garden, the front garden, which you might go take a look in a minute when I got to turn the water off, is uh, I just kind of, you know not adding anything new it's where all my lilies are and it's called june's garden as in the name june not as in the month june my mother's name was june edna june actually um she always went by june growing up and then i guess when she became an adult in the workplaces you know a lot of people they want to use your first name but so some people knew her as edna but the family called her you know june or they would use both names or you know all the uh all my cousins call her aunt june they don't they don't call her aunt edna she was named after her aunt edna so anyway enough of old family names so I'll go ahead and water my sad onions that cats keep getting in and peeing in i've left the sides where there's no onions kind of lean down like this hoping that it would dissuade the cats from wanting to hang out in there so hopefully we'll get a little bit of rain tomorrow and I won't have to water again. I didn't water yesterday, I did the day before. Just because our ground has been so saturated for so long, you know, I figured they were going to be pulling from pretty depth, good depths. And the weed mat, one thing about this weed mat is it does hold your moisture in your soil a bit longer. It doesn't dry out near as fast, so that's good. So anyhow, this is what we're doing. Me. Yeah, I've got, I've got a sprayer for this, but I had to take the sprayer off because I need to put some more of the, uh, that plumber's tape around the, uh, this part of it. You see where it's come off? Because this, the diameter of this is just a little, not quite as much as it should be. I mean, it fits, but it needs to be tighter to keep it from leaking and running down my arm. Which I hate when I'm, you know, especially if I don't want to get wet. If it's really hot summer, I don't really care. I'll put my head under it and soak my shirt and do the whole little wet t-shirt thing in my front yard. If anyone wants to stop and look at 55 year old saggy boobs, that's up to them. But if it's really hot, I'll get wet. But if, like right now, I got clean clothes on and dry. I don't want water running down my arms. So. I think everything in here has had a good drink. Everything here in the garden's got a good drink, a good enough drink. And I'm going to uh, turn this hose off. So I'll just leave it to spray in here. Because at least that way it'll uh, keep the garden. Uh, today we got to 88. If you know me, you know it. Uh, I do not like the hot tent. But uh, probably one day this week I'm going to uh, 
there's a tea post I'm not using over there by the wildflowers and I think I'm going to put it um, in here and use the one the cloth I have I think it's it's either 8 by 8 or it's 8 by it might be 8 by 12 and put it between the post the big post here a tea post and then on these corners and that'll be just under shade cloth and I'll put their pool under the one corner of it so their pool stays in the shade so here's sparrows I need to bring the trash cans up probably do that when I turn this video off I took the trash out last night now it's a oh and great so here's mom and babies on the other side of this and it's not that I have a problem with them the only issue over here is that that chicken wire over there is so much bigger so I'm going to have to grab this little roll I have right there and stretch it along there because if her and the baby is going to continue to come over here and forage which is going to be some of their area anyway I might as well close that off it's a little hot to be doing that right now but so we're going to take a quick peek and see what the front garden's doing and then in this video um yucca so I'm five seven I'm flat-footed right now, so I would say the yuck is probably a good seven feet or more right now. There's two big stalks, and then here's this one. The roses are still, well, they're going to fix them to lose their blooms, and then probably in another month they'll bloom again. So we've got the creamy white roses, yellow roses. Here we go, wildflowers are popping up. See, I'm glad I left those because those were furry things that, and everything first started popping up in here, I was not quite sure what to pull up. I didn't want to pull up any of the fruit. And there's other wildflowers in here, but I can come in here and pull this like stuff that I know is absolutely totally grass and you know, Virginia creeper. Those are uh, some Asiatic lilies. So, but I don't want to act because the newest wildflower stuff I planted is, uh, if it's coming up, it's really low right now. So there's salvia and the sage has gone to bloom. Crepe myrtle's doing well. More salvia. I mowed over that spot. I didn't think it would come back, but it's pretty tough. So these are the dark, deep, wine red asiatics i think the trees are getting some little heads i need to take that little tree thing down those are going to be oriental lilies so yeah i need to get my little push mower back out for just that circle we we'll go tomorrow I'll get gas for the big mower so i can mow the whole yard here are the other big orientals so yeah everything up here is doing all right um the yard's just gone absolutely wild, feral. <laughs> yeah, I probably should build a bird bath, but right now they seem to be enjoying the puddle. And I'm not going to, I'm going to have to move this tomorrow anyway, so I'm not going to fill it up. So I'm going back around. Everything is good. I'm going to put up some fence so that the little chicks don't get out into the main, main wild and free, so. I need to end this video. Thanks, y'all. Just adding this to the end. I've opened up both ends of the pen because mom and babies are going to just hop over. I just folded back the sides. And if I have to, I will spread them back out and extend them to their full four and a half, five feet tall, whatever, just to keep mom and babies from this side. But I went ahead and bordered the bottom of this chicken wire so that they can't get through. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Take a peek at Cece. She was in the back corner earlier. Um, and now she's moved back up front to eat. And I've seen her using her legs, lifting herself up. So it's all getting good.